smoke to clear And we watch our dreams appear I know that we can rise together This vision that we share is ours Together we can touch the stars I know that we will see December Alright guys, so uh, <clears throat> this is why I don't normally buy cheap tools. So I've been cutting, ripping these 2x6s about 90% of the way through this one. <clears throat> and the blade stopped spinning all of a sudden. And so I pulled the board off and there was smoke coming up from in there. So I quickly unplugged it and let it cool off. And then I, hoping that it just overheated, plugged it back in and nothing it's dead so I'm not sure how many of these spars I'm gonna need for my camper I've got quite a few cut already so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the walls with what I got and see how far I get and if I have to, I'll, well, I know I'll have to eventually, but I'll go and get another table saw. Frustrating. I only used this saw about, it was given to me as a gift, and I've only used it about three times. And it's dead. So it's not one that I would recommend. I've been keeping myself so busy Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me I wanna be, I wanna be
to the edge, falling in the way, and testing myself by the road. Yes. So the walls are up. They're square. I realized I messed up. I don't know if you caught that in the video, but I originally put this vertically and I meant for it to be flat, so I had to pull it up and redo it. But these will come off once I get a few more of the spars across the help hold the shape but that would give you an idea of the size follow the line at the top and come down the height of my spars so that my spars will sit over this and then I'm gonna once I get that cut I'm gonna lay it on a sheet of quarter inch ply and use a flush cut about real router bit to, to cut a piece of quarter inch ply it's the same thickness or the same shape and then I'll screw all that in to the wall this front edge I'll leave smooth because I'm gonna put some cabinets in here so I'll bump the front edge of the cabinet right up against that the back edge I'll use a round over bit to round that edge over so it's not so sharp of an edge or harsh edge and then also on the back side of this piece I'm gonna route a groove down to about there that I'm gonna use to hide the, hide the wiring for my switch <clears throat> and that whole thickness will be enough That's what I'm about to do. Cut that out with the router. Well, okay, guys, the router bit broke. So I just traced the door and I'm going to cut it with a jigsaw. Don't buy cheap tools. Cheap router bits off of Amazon aren't very good.
kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald It took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you So, I'm getting ready to mark out where my rooftop fan and eventually possibly rooftop air AC is going to go. So, here's my center line, and the cutout's got to be 14 inches. So, I'm going to come out here 7 inches and 7 inches this way. And then account for the width of one of these that's going to go across here on both sides and then on this side over here I'm gonna drill a hole like these these are where I'm gonna run my wiring and on the rooftop fan the wires are on this side so I want a hole over here so that I can come through it's not good for the stapler or whatever that thing's called tape measure <laughs> so it's going to come through here attach here and then come through on this side so i need to go ahead and drill a hole now because once i get the next spar on i won't have enough room with the drill to get in there to drill it so i'm doing my measuring here and then I've already got my measurements for where my next bar is going to go across here. And then once I get that one on, I'll cut some pieces to go across this way. So that's what I'm doing now. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. 
So here's my fan. Looks like I gotta clean it up a lot before I get ready to put it on. But these are the supports that are gonna go between the two roof spars. And I've cut four of them. And the reason I cut four of them is I'm gonna have two in the center. 14 inches apart that supports the fan so imagine these are 14 inches apart and the fan would go here and then I'm gonna put one on each end because I may eventually replace the fan with a rooftop AC and if I do I want to make sure that it can support the weight. Now I am going to have to drill a hole for my wiring. So I'm going to come in this distance and put a hole through here on this one. And then on this one, on the far side, this is above the door. I'm eventually going to, this trim ring that I made for the door, I'm going to pull it back off and route out the back on the inside so I can run some wiring down to a switch that'll be right here. So where the wiring is going to come down, that spar, that support is going to go across here, I need to drill a hole through it so I can get the wiring through. And actually the hole won't go all the way through. It'll come from the bottom side, go about halfway, and then come here to meet it. Sorry, I didn't have you on camera. So from the bottom side, it's going to go about halfway and then go this way to meet it. So that when I get ready to run the wiring, I can fish the wiring through there, down behind that trim ring to the switch. The summer's calling. make a little more sense so this one's gonna be the one on the side I'm sorry that's the one for the vent so this wires will be able to go through here this one is the one for the side where I'm gonna have the channel behind the trim door trim for the wiring down to the light switch so if you can see it the holes go through from the side and meet up so I'll be able to tuck my wires in down here and then behind the door trim down to the light switch so that's that one that one's those and then these two just no holes so I'm gonna get these uh, installed and move on from there um, down to the ground
the walls, the basic structure completed. Next step, I'm gonna do the roof skin, and then still gotta build the, the hatch, the galley hatch. This bond is solid gold, we're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you. front and the roof on all it is is you know, this quarter inch ply and then this here is a bendable plywood quarter inch and then quarter inch ply down here. Now it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but. And I glued it down with liquid nails, heavy duty, and screwed it all the way around. And I'm gonna come back with all my little seams. Fill those in. Make sure they're all nice and sealed. And then I'm eventually going to skin the whole thing with aluminum. But in the meantime, I'm going to paint it with some outdoor. Good quality outdoor paint. That's where I'm at right now, and uh, next I gotta start building the hatch for the galley. All my cabinetry and the interior will get finished out later. I'm trying to to get it dried in, watertight. It's supposed to go this weekend. It's the teardrop camper group meetup. If I can get it dried in, I'll take it and sleep in it for the weekend and see how it does. And then come back afterwards and finish out the inside. Skin it with aluminum, add all my aluminum trim. Fenders. I'm not gonna cut the, the hole for the vent fan yet. Cause I'm not gonna have any electricity in it for the weekend. So there's no point in cutting a hole that could just potentially leak until I'm ready to install the fan. That's it. That's, that's where it's at. Next video will be uh, the galley hatch. Stay tuned, hit subscribe, follow along with the video as I finish building it. If you like this video, hit like, share, go ahead and leave a comment. You know, the comments really help. The more people that like and comment on the videos, the more YouTube shares it. So that'll really help me out. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.